mother of two, Jane Campbell, has been in the fight of her life. It was all pretty upsetting and a lot to wrap your head around. Jane developed the blood cancer lymphoma. Then came the brutal rigours of intense chemotherapy. There is a chance that you'll die from this treatment. The cancer would keep coming back. There was a last ditch hope of an expensive trial in Boston, but that fell through. Effectively, I'd run out of options. But just across town at QIMR Berghofer, Dr. C. Octay is at the forefront of the new frontier of cancer treatment, powerful immune cells called CAR T cells. CAR Ts are genetically modified so that they are supercharged, they have special abilities to kill the cells, cancer cells. Both a QIMR Berghofer researcher and a haematologist at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital, Dr. Tay has been running a 20 patient trial of CAR T cells to treat lymphoma. You're talking about 50-60% success rate, which is fantastic for these patients who is otherwise 0%. It can work extremely well. It, it can be miraculous as far as those few patients are concerned. Dr. Tay's trial was literally Jane's last chance. To be, you know, down to no options and to have, you know, the best option open up in your home town that's, you know, not going to affect you. Not going to affect, you know, your daughter's schooling and. Five months on, Jane is in remission and planning to go back to work. We're just getting on with life in the meantime, which is absolutely wonderful. You know, I really like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You've, you've drawn the golden ticket. When you can give a patient a great result, how do you feel? Oh, you know, unbelievable, right? Dr. Tay's mission now is to not only improve CAR T effectiveness against lymphoma, but also engineer new CAR Ts for other blood cancers such as myeloma, also solid cancers, including those that affect children. We really want to make it a lot more successful. But Dr. Tay is running her frontier research on a shoestring. We want to do it, but we don't have resources. And so we're stuck. For the program to reach its true potential, it must receive more funding. We have the scientists in this institution, in this country, who can do this. And we need to fund these people so that we can do it. Because if we don't have funding, we have to decide what do we let go. We are missing out on the opportunities to understand more about the science. We are missing out on the opportunity to allow us to make better car tea. So if I sound frustrated, it's because I am, you know, why can't Brisbane be leading the way? Because we have the expertise, we have the dedication from the doctors, we have the skills in the team. You, you can change the field for the whole world. By doing it here, you know, we're really bringing the benefit to the people here, you know, in this country, in this region, in this town. We can do it here in Australia, like let's think, let's think big.